In Northwest news, a trauma surgeon at Harborview Medical Center in Seattle is testing Google Glass in the operating room. Dr. Heather Evans is one of 8,000 people selected by Google to explore uses for the device because of her interest in using it during operations and as a teaching tool. It's like wearing eyeglasses with a display that gives users connections to the internet where they can find information or stream video. Evans told the Seattle Times she's excited by the potential but concerned with technical issues. She says it's almost impossible to use Google Glass while concentrating on a patient. A small earthquake was reported near Richland yesterday, but there have been no reports of any damage. The U.S. Geological Survey says the magnitude 3.2 quake hit about eight miles north of the city at 6.47 a.m. The Tri-City Herald reports that the quake appeared to be in the same area as a 3.4 magnitude quake that some residents reported feeling two years ago and where swarms of little earthquakes occurred in 2009, 1988, 1975, and 1970. Pacific Northwest National Laboratory officials have said the fault there is about 300 by 300 feet and likely less than a mile deep. Because of the thickness of the basalt rock layer at that depth, there's a limit to the magnitude of the quakes produced. The USGS reported Sunday's earthquake at a depth of about 325 feet. The Department of Energy is conducting an updated assessment of the danger of an earthquake at Hanford Nuclear Reservation. Biometric security is becoming reality among Americans. Here's with the story is the Associated Press. Employees at this KFC in West Lafayette, Indiana, no longer need a password to sign into their cash registers. They come in and they uh, put their finger on a fingerprint mechanism and they just, it just automatically clocks them in. Biometrics, once considered a far-fetched technology, is becoming an everyday reality. From signing onto your phone, accessing your bank account, to entering a secured room. Your unique features are the key to unlocking anything worth safeguarding. We want to protect uh, our privacy and uh, also be able to make sure that we don't have fraudulent transactions. We'll see the use of biometrics in that area as well. Biometric researchers at Purdue University say human traits such as your iris, fingerprint, face and voice provide that extra level of security beyond numbers and letters. I think the average person would tell you they have too many passwords and it's a hassle to change them all the time, and therefore they use the same passwords for lots of things, which inherently makes that more easier to, to break. For employers, using biometrics can better protect employees. It keeps others from you know, trying to get into their registers or log in or clock themselves in or out by using someone else's number. As well as protect the company's bottom line, and your own personal assets. No lag on the Associated Press. And that's going to do it for us here at iFiber One News. We want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow.